Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you an exciting new feature inside Shipping Easy. Shipping Presets. Shipping Presets are set configurations of carrier, carrier service, and packaging that have many different uses within the platform. They have always existed within the platform, but our recent update makes it easier than ever to create and manage shipping presets. It is an incredibly streamlined process I think you will find very valuable. So let's get started. We start by clicking Settings in the top right of the app, then Shipping Presets on the right side under Shipment Settings. As you can see on my screen, the presets are divided into two tabs, Domestic and International. We include a few default presets for you to use, six for Domestic and seven for International. These are the presets we have seen our customers use most frequently for each category. If a preset says Weight Required next to it, it uses a generic dimensionless box and will require a weight update before being able to purchase a label with it. Now one thing to be aware of, if you use custom packaging, none of the default presets include any of your custom packages. If you have custom boxes, you'll want to save those in Shipping Easy and create presets for them. For domestic, Weight Required options include First Class Package and Priority Mail Package. The other domestic presets are USPS packaging options that don't require you to enter the weight. These include flat rate options and the regional rate A box. On the International tab, the options are a similar split between flat rate and generic packaging options. To create a new preset, click New Preset. This brings us into the preset creation flow. The first step is to decide whether this is a domestic or international preset, then select the carrier. I only have USPS connected, but this screen will show any carriers you have connected to your account. If you need to add a carrier, you can click Add More Carriers and add it in the new window that opens. I'm going to make a domestic USPS priority mail preset that includes my custom package that's eligible for flat rate green cubic pricing. So I'll choose USPS first. Then from the list of available services, I'll choose Priority Mail. Now on the packaging page, I have a drop-down of USPS specific packaging. These are boxes and envelopes the post office uses that have a rate associated with the packaging, such as flat rate or regional rate. And below that are the custom packages I have created, including my 8x8x8 flat rate green eligible box here. If I forgot to add the packages beforehand, I can click Add a new package here and add it right from this screen. For information on setting up packaging, check out the Basic Shipping Setup section of the Getting Started Guide at shippingeasy.com slash guide. So I choose my 8x8x8 box, and that takes me to the final screen, where I determine the name, and if I want, a keyboard shortcut I can use to automatically assign this to an order on the Ready to Ship page. I'll use Alt-G to stand for Flat Rate Green. By default, the name is just the listing of carrier, service, and packaging I chose, but I can edit it if I want. For instance, if this configuration was only ever used to ship a specific product, it would make sense to name it after that product. If you check the box that says Make Default Domestic Preset, this preset will override the instant rate suggestions and default every domestic order that comes in to this preset unless that default is overruled by a previously remembered selection or shipping rule. To save, I hit Create Preset, and it gets added to my list of usable presets. When I have my most common configurations saved, I can assign favorites by clicking the star next to the name. Any preset with a star is usable as a quick ship option on the orders page, making shipping easier than ever. If I want to adjust the order in which they appear, I can click Arrange Favorites in the top right, then drag and drop them in my desired order. I'm going to use this one I just made quite often, so I'll make sure it's at the top of the list. The order in which I arrange them on this page reflects how they appear on the orders page and anywhere else in the app. Now that I'm all set up, I'll show you the main uses of the shipping presets. If I go to the orders page by clicking orders on the blue bar at the top, I can assign this preset to any order by clicking the black down arrow next to the order and choosing it from the list of presets. If I ship this order, Shipping Easy will remember which preset to use for the orders that look like this and automatically assign it for me next time it sees an order with the same line items and quantities. You can ship this order individually by clicking the rate quote to the left of it, or you can turn on the rate quote filter to show only orders with rate quotes, select all by clicking the checkbox on the green bar, and clicking buy and print. Super easy. The other major use for shipping presets is with shipping rules. 
If you want Shipping Easy to assign the shipping preset based on criteria you set about the order, rather than you manually choosing each one, you can do that with the Shipping Rule. To do so, click Settings in the top right, and select Shipping Rules from the right side. Click Add New, and you can set your Save Shipping Preset in the Then section. I'll make a quick rule that assigns my new shipping preset to domestic orders that have a single quantity line item in my 8x8 product category. For a more in-depth look at creating shipping rules, check out the Advanced Shipping Setup section of the Getting Started Guide at shippingeasy.com guide. When I hit Save, I no longer have to manually assign the preset to those orders on the shipping page, saving myself an extra step. Any new orders meeting these criteria will be assigned this shipping preset. Of course, if you don't want to write rules, you can manually assign your preset. Shipping Easy has the option to remember how you previously shipped orders and can assign the shipping preset when an order with the same products and quantities is seen again. There you go. Everything you need to know about the new and improved shipping preset feature. Thanks for watching, everyone.